An arithmetic progression, AP, also called an arithmetic sequence, is a sequence of numbers which differ from each other by a common difference. For instance, the sequence 2, 4, 6, 8, and so on is an arithmetic sequence. It has a common difference of 2. In an arithmetic progression, or AP, the first number is called the first term. So in this sequence, the first term is 2, while the common difference is 2. How did we get the common difference? To find the common difference in an AP, you, you have to subtract any term from the term that comes immediately after it. Um, here, in this sequence, if you subtract 2 from 4, you have 2. If you subtract 4 from 6, you will also have 2. Subtract 6 from 8, you will get 2. So we say that the common difference is 2. Now, let's denote, let's denote the first term. first term as a1 so our first term we will use a1 to represent it then the common difference let it be d and let the nth term be equal to a n or a sub n then the nth term of an arithmetic progression is given by a n equal to a 1 plus n minus 1 multiplied by d so we are going to solve a few examples now on a p Example 1, find the sequence described by an equal to 2 plus n minus 1 times 4. Now let's solve this. In the sequence, a1 is equal to, which a1 is the first term, and that is equal to 2. So we write a1 equals 2. d here is the position for d. So what we have here is 4. So D is equal to 4. Then let's get the second term. Since we already have the first term, we can get the second term A2 equal to 2 plus 2 minus 1 multiplied by 4. 2 minus 1 is 1, 1 times 4 is 4, plus 2 is 6. So the second term is 6. The third term is 2 plus 3 minus 1 times 4. And that will give 3 minus 1 is 2, 2 times 4 is 8, 8 plus 2 we have 10. The third term is 10. Then the fourth term a4 is equal to 2 plus 4 minus 1 times 4. This will give us 4 minus 1 is 3, 3 times 4, 12, 12 plus 2, 14. So we have 14 as the fourth term. Then the sequence, therefore. The sequence is 2, 
six ten fourteen the next ten will be fourteen plus four that's eighteen and so on so that's the required sequence now let's go to another example example two find the end term for the arithmetic progression for the AP 3, 6, 9, 12, and so on. So these three dots here after 12 simply indicates that there are more terms involved. This is an infinite sequence. Now let's get the end term for that sequence. Solution. The first term in this sequence is 3. So A1 is equal to 3. The common difference is 3. If you subtract 3 from 6, you have 3. If you subtract 6 from 9, you have 3. So, common difference is equal to 3. Then, the nth term, An, is equal to A1 plus N minus 1 times D. This is equal to 3 plus n minus 1 times 3. We are going to open up the brackets. a n is equal to 3 plus 3 times n is 3n minus 3 times 1 is 3. Now we can see that 3 minus 3 will be 0. So we are left with a n equal to 3 n. So that's the nth term for the given sequence. Now we have a third example. The third example is to find Example 3, find the seventh term of the AP 2, 7, 12, 17, and so on. Solution. The first term is 2. So A1 is equal to 2. The common difference D is equal to, let's check, 17 minus 12 is 5. 12 minus 7 is 5. 7 minus 2 is also 5. So D is equal to 5. Then, a n is equal to a1 plus n minus 1 times d. So, if we substitute the values, we have a7 is equal to 2 plus 7 minus 1 times 5. A7 is equal to 2 plus 6 times 5. So we have A7 is equal to 2 plus 30. So that gives us A7 equal to 32. Therefore, the seventh term of the sequence is equal to 32. Alright, thank you for watching this video. Please 
remember to like and share and also subscribe to this channel for more interesting videos.